In the Milky Way galaxy, our sun is just one of countless stars in the vast universe. Yet, it holds the key to the delicate balance that allows life on Earth. At the center of our solar system, more than just a source of light and heat, this giant ball of plasma holds the solar system together. The sun's powerful gravity keeps eight planets, dozens of asteroids and comets, and 179 moons in their orbits. Without the sun's gravity, these celestial bodies would drift off into deep space. It also governs our days and nights, our seasons, and is the ultimate source of energy for life on Earth. Our sun is the largest and most massive object in the solar system. It's nearly a perfect sphere, with a diameter of about 1.39 million kilometers. It's more than 100 Earths wide. The immense size of the sun allows it to accommodate 1 million Earths within its boundary. Nearly 99.8% of the solar system's mass is concentrated in the sun. Despite its enormous size, the sun is actually a medium-sized star. There are many stars much larger, like Betelgeuse, which is about 700 times bigger than the sun. However, there exist much smaller stars, and they are only one-tenth the size of the sun. Due to the enormous size of the sun, its gravity is incredibly high. It's about 28 times stronger than Earth's gravity at its surface. This force keeps all the planets, asteroids, and comets in our solar system orbiting around the sun. The closer an object is to the sun, the stronger the gravitational pull and the faster its orbital speed. The core of the sun is incredibly hot, reaching temperatures around 15 million degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt any element on the Earth in an instant. This extreme heat is generated by nuclear fusion. The Sun is primarily composed of 91% of hydrogen. Under the extreme conditions of pressure and gravity, hydrogen nuclei are forced together to fuse, through a process called nuclear fusion, releasing tremendous amounts of energy. The surface of the Sun, called the photosphere, is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. This is the region, where the light and heat we experience on Earth are generated. Despite its size and mass, the sun will not last forever. The sun has been burning for roughly 4.5 billion years, and is predicted to have about 5 billion years more of hydrogen fuel left. It's currently in the most stable phase of its life cycle, called the main sequence. In this phase, it primarily fuses hydrogen in its core into helium, releasing immense amounts of energy in the process. When the sun eventually runs out of hydrogen in its core, it will enter a new phase called the red giant stage. It will expand considerably, likely engulfing Mercury and Venus, and its increased heat will render Earth uninhabitable, and then collapse into a small star, known as White Dwarf. However, the sun has a lot of fuel left in the tank, this won't happen for about 5 billion years, so humanity has plenty of time to prepare for the future. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about the sun and its role in our solar system. For related videos click the i button, or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.